And finally, just as we're winding down, mm. uh, do you have anything specific that you'd like to say to, to people in Malaysia? Any, and then also anything that I haven't given you the chance to say, any topic you'd like to address? Well, I'd just like to say congratulations to the people in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, they did this. Um, and they showed they could do it. Uh, it, it wasn't an easy election. Um, uh, nobody, nobody in the world, not a single expert, thought that there could be a change of government. And, and that's in itself a terrible indictment, that you know, the system was such that it didn't matter who the government was or whatever, you couldn't change the government because it was too solidified. And, and, and the, you know, the, the importance of being able to, to have a real democracy, and that's what Malaysians have done. And I, I just think this is a wonder, and I think the, the importance of what's happened here in Malaysia, it, 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 it reaches far beyond the borders of this country. And, and I think um, it's going to take you know, a little bit longer for other countries perhaps and, and, and people who aren't expert in Malaysia to, to appreciate the importance and the impact that this, this change has, has happened. It, it, I think you can become a, a beacon now in this region. Um, you have shown that you have been able to have an incredibly sophisticated, you know, change of government, totally peaceful, you know, totally managing to hang on to all the rules, <laughs> just about, you know, and, and, you know, a peaceful transfer of democratic power. And, and, I, and you've now got a government that is 100% committed to a modernizing reform program and with a very clear view. And, and a very I, I see, there's a very sophisticated political understanding in Malaysia. I mean, I, every Malaysian I speak to is so much more sophisticated than the average Brit when it comes to understanding what makes for um, good governance and bad governance. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's partly because, obviously you're a very educated nation, but it's, it's partly because what you've been through. Um, you've, you've seen the dangers of, of drift in, in governance um, and suffered from it and, and thought hard about what's needed to protect the country and protect the body politic from a return to authoritarianism and arbitrary rule. So I think you can achieve it and I think that that will bring prosperity to your country um, and prestige to your country. I, I just think the world's your oyster. I'm so excited for you.